Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the math equation editor in Canvas. So this will be a useful video for students, teachers or administrators, anybody who needs to insert an equation in a problem. So when I'm looking at Canvas, a lot of times the problems all open up what's called the rich content editor box. And this is very similar to any word processor where you have your icons such as font, bold, italic, underline. But if you need to use a mathematical equation, sometimes what's hidden from the toolbar is a math equation editor. I can click on these three dots here, which I call the snowman, and I find under this radical sign uh, the math equation editor button. When I click on this, this window will pop up. Now this window allows me to do quite a few things. It allows me to insert any of these symbols here. So whether it's alpha, beta, gamma, let's say I wanted to use pi, or I wanted to use theta, these are all available. It also allows me to insert inequalities like less than or equal to or congruency. In chemistry, we use a lot of arrows to show uh, reactions. So I have arrows located here. There's miscellaneous things, uh, such as for degrees. So there's a bunch of stuff that you can use here directly. Let's say I just simply want to type in a fraction. So let's say I wanted to do density, which is mass over volume. I can click this icon under basic where it says fraction. And right away it pops up a fraction where I can type in directly mass in the numerator, volume in the denominator, and there I have it. I have my equation and I can insert it. Now, there's an easier way to do this in the equation editor, actually. I can go in here, hit density equals, type in mass directly, and then hit the backslash button on my keyboard where the question mark is, and then type in volume in the denominator, hit the right arrow key that takes me out. Boom, I have a fraction, okay? So there's two ways to do fractions. Another thing that I like about the rich uh, content editor and the math equation is if I do need to show formulas with symbols. So let's say I wanted to do the volume of a sphere. So volume equals, we'll do four backslash third. Um, and now I want to insert pi, pi, r, and now I need to hit cube. I can go in here and hit this superscript button and cube it, and then I can insert it into my equation editor. So I hope this video is useful on helping you guys insert equations on Canvas. Thanks for watching.